In this first episode of Spotlight TV Rising Stars, we want to congratulate Chapel Heart on making their Grand Ole Opry debut on September 17, 2022. Now some of you may not know who Chapel Heart are, that is where we come in by turning our spotlight onto these up-and-coming country stars. So, sit back and relax as we look into their humble beginnings and their rise up the country music ladder. Before we begin, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss a single one of our upcoming videos. Chapel Hart is made up of sisters Danica Hart and Devon Hart, and their cousin Treat Swindle, all three of whom are vocalists. The group has independently released two studio albums and seven singles. In July 2022, they competed in the 17th season of America's Got Talent, where they finished fifth. Sisters Danica and Devon Hart began singing together in 2014 with their cousin Treat Swindle. The three started busking by performing cover songs on the streets of New Orleans and eventually writing original songs as well. Danica Hart and Swindle began recording in 2016 under the name Hyperfly and released the EP Made For Me, 2016. They released the album Out The Mud in 2019, which featured Devin and was credited as Hyperfly. The trio also performed at music festivals around Louisiana and in Innsbruck, Austria. They renamed themselves Chapel Heart, taking the name from a church in their hometown. In 2020, they were discovered by record producer Jeff Glixman, who was their manager and producer. This was followed by a standalone single titled Jesus and Alcohol in 2020, which featured ZZ Top member Billy Gibbons on guitar. They also shot a music video for the song, in which Gibbons plays the role of a pastor. T. Graham Brown and Deborah Allen also make cameos in the video, which aired on CMT after its release. CMT selected Chapel Heart as one of several artists for their 2021 Next Women of Country campaign, which promotes new and upcoming female country music artists. This was followed in 2021 by the group's second single, I Will Follow. A music video was produced for the song, which aired on CMT, with Jackal frontman Jesse James Dupree making a cameo appearance in it. Jennifer Hansen wrote the song with Savannah Keys and Nick Brophy, the latter of whom co-produced it with Glixman. The corresponding music video began airing on CMT on February 5, 2021. Kevin John Coyne of Country Universe rated the song A, praising the group members' singing voices while comparing the arrangement favorably to the works of She Daisy and The Chicks. A third single and video, You Can Have Him Jolene, followed in March 2021. The song is an answer song to Dolly Parton's Jolene. In July 2021, the group announced a second studio album, titled The Girls Are Back in Town. Glixman also produced this album. Another single and video, Made For Me, followed in 2022. Chapel Heart had planned to tour with the Indigo Girls in mid-2022, but cancelled this tour when that duo's member Emily Solliers was diagnosed with COVID-19. During this time, agents for the NBC talent show America's Got Talent contacted members of the group. Danica told the blog Taste of Country that Chapel Heart initially turned down the offer, but ultimately agreed to appear on the show after being contacted by the same agent a number of times. On the audition episode airing July 19th, during the show's 17th season, they performed You Can Have Him Jolene. For the second time in the show's history, a group golden buzzer was granted to them by the four judges and host. This allowed Chapel Heart to advance to the next round of competition, eventually earning a spot in the finals after performing their original song The Girls Are Back in Town. Chapel Heart advanced to the finals, where they performed a cover of Bonnie Raitt's Something to Talk About with Darius Rucker. They were eliminated from the fifth place position. Chapel Heart received an invitation to make their debut on the Grand Ole Opry on September 17, 2022. They are also featured on Darius Rucker's late 2022 single Old Church Hymn. In 2020, Danica told the Houston Chronicle that she was influenced by albums from George Strait and Kenny Rogers. She and Devin have also cited Gretchen Wilson as a primary musical influence. Joey Guerra of the Houston Chronicle noted that Chapel Heart's sound is heavily reliant on their use of vocal harmony. 
He also found Danica's voice comparable to that of Ada James, while also finding influences of a classic girl group sound on other songs. Later in 2020, Swindle told American songwriter that she was aware of the unusual choice for an African-American act to record country music, telling the publication, you don't really choose. It was how we grew up and who we are.